Hello everybody, Easy here. After five years of waiting, Fallout London has finally been released to the public. This release comes out after several years, but it's finally out. GOG, or Good Old Games, has released the mod installer in a partnership with the Fallout London team. And in this video, I will be showing you how to install Fallout London to the Steam Deck. It's worth noting, this video is specifically for Steam users who own Fallout 4. GOG users are able to install in a simpler manner using Heroic Launcher, which we will briefly cover within this video. Proton slash Wine has a limitation in which Heroic Launcher is not able to access all drives correctly, however using GOG solves this issue. For Steam users, stay tuned. A special thanks to the website WTF Overkill, which specializes in Steam Deck tutorials and other info. Without their guide, my visual guide would not be possible. Their written guide is linked in the description below. Two prerequisites are Fallout 4 and its DLC on Steam. Please note, you do not need the high resolution texture pack. It's recommended to not use it because it will cause bugs with the main modification itself. It will also take up a lot of storage space and has conflicts outside of this mod alone. Many in the community also see it as a minimal upgrade. The second requirement is Heroic Launcher, linked to your GOG account, which owns the free Fallout London release. Installing Heroic Launcher is beyond the scope of this tutorial, however it's fairly straightforward. Heroic just acts as a front end to allow you to compile all of your non-Steam storefronts on the deck for easy installation and usage. As for Fallout London, all you need is a free GOG account and to add that free modification to your library. This copy will work with the Steam release and the GOG release. To begin, we are going to launch our Steam Deck and enter desktop mode. This will restart the Steam Deck into the main SteamOS desktop environment and allow us the ability to use applications we will need for installation. Next, we are going to launch the console application, or whatever console environment you are running on your deck. If this looks intimidating to you, do not worry. We are going to enter one command line and then follow the normal graphics user interface for the rest. If this seems intimidating because you're new or unfamiliar with command line interfaces, just follow this video's lead. In the console, go ahead and copy paste the following line. I have it written down in the description below. This will automatically run a downgrade process on the Steam Deck's Fallout 4 installation. For this process to work, it will utilize Steam CMD to have you re-log in. Steam CMD is a tool made by Valve themselves and is entirely safe. This is a normal process and happens with most methods to install Fallout London to Steam copies of the game. This process does not log or keep track of your inputs. It will not remember your account. If you feel uncomfortable with that or wish to look through the code itself, a link can be found here. After logging in and verifying we own the game, we must allow the downgrade process to happen. This can take a while, so don't worry if it seems like nothing is happening. You will notice new lines in your console, as well as prompts to direct you in the steps. Once the downgrade is done, we will have to log in to GOG within our Heroic Launcher. Make sure you log in through the Settings tab and not the website. No harm will come of doing it through the website, but it's incorrect and will not work properly with Heroic Launcher. Next, install Fallout London while changing any of the settings. By default, with the script entered, it will search for Fallout 4 on the internal drive. This is our desired method, 
If you have Fallout 4 installed to an SD card, you can also select the SD card location from the menus. Fallout 4 is by default in the Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4 folder. During the next step, the Fallout London installer will search for Fallout 4's folder. When using the script, locate the F drive for the correct installation. This script is designed to only work with the F drive at this step. Once the F drive is selected, click Install. This script will also run an INI file made by a community member, whose name is on screen now, which will adjust needed settings and previously prompted the option slash requirement to install Buffout 4. Buffout 4 has since been included within the main Fallout London mods release so the previous prompt about Buffout 4 is now removed. Finally, this script will ensure your copy of Fallout 4's automatic updates are disabled. This is important, as Bethesda has released updates since Fallout London's game base version, and running the game may cause Steam to download updates from its depot, which will break the mod installation. Allow the script the ability to disable these updates, or if you'd like to do it manually, Run the following command in your console. And that's it! Your installation of Fallout London for Fallout 4 is ready to play. If you followed the steps correctly, you can go ahead and launch the game directly from the Fallout 4 Steam page. If you ever wish to fully uninstall, go to Steam Settings, select Properties, select Browse Local Files, and delete the whole contents of the Game Install folder. Then uninstall the game from Steam. One final suggestion is to be sure you set your Proton Steam compatibility to Experimental in your Steam Settings. This will provide the best experience in terms of performance and stability when running the game. I want to thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to read the written guide linked below, and I will try to give support when applicable in the comments. Be sure to leave a like, comment your questions, and subscribe for more Steam Deck, modification, and emulation related content.